we have here uh, this is a question from november 6 jisme unhone kaha hua tha you have a velocity here which is u this angle is alpha and they have asked you to find the horizontal and vertical component component of the velocity after time t so what is the component of the horizontal velocity and the vertical velocity after time t u cos of alpha that is the horizontal velocity ux is equal to u cos of alpha and what is the vertical component of the velocity that is after time t after time t you will apply up the equation v is equal to u plus at since they are asking you after time t and you have here u sin of alpha this is minus g times t which is u sin of alpha minus gt so this is what you will get as the answer to this question a projectile is launched at point o and follows the path opqrs as shown air resistance may be neglected which statement is true for the projectile when it is at the highest point q of its path a dekhe horizontal component velocity ka hoga agar horizontal component hai to resultant velocity bhi hui hogi aur momentum bhi hoga wo aap padhenge aage its mass into velocity a jo hai wo maine bhi aapko bataya hai ki there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction this is what we discuss a projectile is fired from point p with its velocity v at an angle theta to the horizontal it lands at point q a horizontal distance r from p after time t the acceleration of free fall is g air resistance is negligible which equation is correct r is the horizontal displacement v e is the velocity at an angle theta we have Yes, Equations of motion cannot be used when there is no acceleration. Remember that. Equations of motion can only be used when there is acceleration. Look, you have this. See, this is your component. It became v cos theta. It became v sin theta. Okay. Now, vertically, we have not seen these things. We only have to deal with the horizontal components. Okay. This distance, the displacement, which is that is. Vx into capital T because there is no acceleration. I can multiply V with T. There is no acceleration in the horizontal direction. You see that the air resistance is negligible, right? Okay, the air resistance is negligible. So we can write here V cos theta times T, and this becomes V T cos of theta. So A is the answer. You have no acceleration in the horizontal direction. Instead of acceleration, vertical direction. सिर्फ एक्सेलरेशन किसमें वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन में लेट अस मूव अहेड सो दिस वाज फ्रॉम मे जून 20 पेपर 11 क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 और मैंने अभी आपको उससे पहले करवाया था समर 16 का पेपर 13 क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 ठीक है अच्छा उसके बाद एक चीज आती है सो समथिंग दैट हैज बीन आस्क न्यूमरस टाइम्स सो यू हैव हियर maximum height of the projectile we have here an object and it goes on like this we have the velocity v here for example isko main u keh deta hu this is u this angle is theta and you have to find this maximum height h in terms of theta u and g find the maximum height in terms of u theta and g so how will you find the maximum height of this projectile acha see what we will do here is that you already know that at the topmost height at the top height the vertical component of the velocity is zero you know this very well that at the maximum height of the projectile maximum height of the projectile 
the vertical component component of the velocity is zero meter per second. Now, if you have this condition, we can apply here the equation 2as is equal to v square minus u square. This is one of the equations from the equations of motion. It's also given in the, the formula sheet of your exam. And here, you know that, that the horizontal component of u is u sine of theta. Uh, the, sorry, the vertical component is u sine of theta and horizontal component is u cos of theta, right? The horizontal component is u cos of theta and the vertical component is u sine of theta. What we're going to do is, since there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction, we are not supposed to use this equation there. We only have to apply the equation in the vertical direction because there is acceleration there, right? So what we're going to do is, this is going to be, a is going to be minus g. This distance is h you have here zero square since the final velocity of the vertical component is zero. We are only dealing with vertical components here. We're not dealing with horizontal component. Usko bhool jai. Jab aap vertical direction mein hai, horizontal component ko aapne treat nahi karna. Usliye hum treat nahi kare, wahan pe acceleration horizontal mein nahi hai. Achha, u square ho jayega, u sine of theta whole square. And you get what? You get minus two gh is equal to minus u sine theta whole square. You see the significance of negative sign here. It cancels out all the way. And you get what you get h is equal to u square sine of square theta over 2g. This is how you do it. This is the maximum height that you'll find for the projectile. If you are if you're figuring out what is this, you should know that that u sine theta whole square, in fact, can be written as u square sine of square theta. This is rotation is this way. This way you it. And this is what you'll do. There is another thing that comes, you know, frequently in the exam, and that is about the time of the flight of the projectile. The time of the flight, but you have success score here, or us sixer ko. Boundary cross karne mein kitna time laga? Find the time of the flight. You have here a projectile like this. The initial velocity was u. And this one was, achha, ye u kaan se aaya hai? Aapko pata na chahiye, ye vertical or horizontal ka resultant hai. Okay, this is u sine of theta here. And this one is u cos of theta. You have to find the, the time of the entire flight. Find the time of the flight in terms of u theta and g. You have to find the time. What happened here is, what you're going to see here that you're, you're going to ignore the horizontal component because there is no acceleration. You will vertical direction. Ko dekhenge, aap isko iska se dekhenge. This tissue paper here, a projectile. What is horizontal component and vertical component? So, what is the you should know that at the topmost point, the vertical velocity of the uh, the vertical velocity is going to be zero. Iska ek trika to ye hai ki aap kare a is equal to v minus u over t. Ye aapke paas other time aega flight ka other. Usko in the two karenge. Aapke paas ye other time aega. So t is equal to v minus u over a, which is going to be v is zero. U is what? u sine of theta because we are dealing with the vertical component only so what you're going to do is you have here a which is equal to minus g and you get what you get minus u sine theta over minus g this minus is going to cancel with this minus and the half of the time of the flight is 
u sin theta over g. This is the half time. This is the time for the ball to go up only. What you're going to do is, since the ball is going to come back as well, the total time is 2 times t, and this gives you this gives you what? This gives you 2 u sin theta over g. This is the time of the flight. अच्छा एक और तरीका इसका ये है कि for example यहाँ से राइट हेयर दैट इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट कम्स बैक हेयर स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम हेयर लाइक दिस The vertical displacement is zero. We're going to write here: s is equal to half a t square plus u t. This is the equation that we have. आप अगर देखें तो अगर मैंने यहाँ से start किया तो ये यहाँ पे आ रही है तो s क्या है? Zero. वापस उसी जगह पे आ गई है तो vertical displacement zero है. This is one over two a s minus g. This is t square. This is u sine of theta into t. This is u sine of theta, right? The vertical component is u sine of theta. You get what you get? U sine of theta times t minus half g t square is equal to zero. You take t common here. This is u sine of theta minus half g t. Is equal to zero. This signifies what? This signifies that that either t is equal to zero when the displacement is zero. जब displacement zero थी तो t zero था. या t की value होगी. U sine of theta minus half g t is equal to zero. ये show क्या कह रहे हैं? ये show कह रहे हैं that displacement zero थी जब t zero था. या जब ये equation zero की equal है. This is going to be u sine of theta is equal to one over two g t. And you'll get what you'll get. T is equal to two u sine theta over g, which is essentially the same thing that we calculated upstairs. They're both are the same. 